What am I doing on the floor? Well, I've fallen and they can't get up. Would you give me a hand? Stay tuned and see why I'm on the ground. <laughs> Can you see me? My name's Jeff Furs and I have homestead. And I've fallen and I can't get up. Would you give me a hand? Thanks. All kidding aside, I don't know, can you even see me? So, here's the situation. I'm tired, I'm going to take a nap. No, I know, I'm all full of lame jokes. I'm laying here on the ground. I've got this nice Ryobi light here. That's actually pretty cool because it runs on the Ryobi batteries. It's got like three settings. So that's on low. So anyhow, they get shadows. Boo. Um my hot water take care of my RV. I got a tray of water sitting in there. This guy right there, I don't know if you can see it, I'll, I'll give you a closer look here in a second. Cracked. It's all plastic, PVC, it's all packs, PVC, um, or plastic, uh, uh, fittings, so, and, well, it's leaked, and so I have to do something about it, because I don't need water everywhere, so, I'm going to replace it with some brass stuff instead of the plastic and the PEX fittings are different so I got some more PEX line and all that so let me get you a closer look at what we got here if I get my butt up here alright so a closer look at what I got so it is this guy right here that's leaking So what I'm going to do is we're going to cut this right about there. We're going to cut that one just on the other side. And we're going to take and undo this and undo this. And then I'm going to use this as a model. And I'm going to make another one here with that as my model. So I know what sizes you know the distance between this angle and that angle and those 90s and all that those elbows so I already have the cover off because I leave it off because mice still get in here from time to time and so with the cover off they're less likely to hang out in there and build a nest Plus, I can see them too. So, in fact, I've even got a mouse trap up there. So, um, so here's what I've done. I've turned off the hot water tank. I have shut off the water to the RV. I have opened up the sink valves to release the pressure. And on the water tank, there's a, uh, a water um, relief valve or whatever. I'll show you here in a second. That I unscrewed and it emptied out that water tank. So there may be a little bit of water in this. Just because as you can see, that's the lower point there. So probably some water accumulated there. So I've got a towel here that should help a little bit. So I'll empty out that water tray, that ice tray. And then we will uh, we'll go to town. I'm not going to show you every little bit that I do. I'll show you in phases just because I have no clue what I'm doing. I've only worked with PEX a couple of times. So I think I've got all the fittings I need. Although I may need something for that. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. So this is what happens when you don't know what you're doing. But you got to do it. You just make it up as you go. So, let's, uh, let's get cutting. Once I start cutting, there's no turning back, huh? Ready, set, go. All right. 
So what do we got? This is the one I cut off. Now I'm a little bit concerned by the type of fittings these are. So we'll see. I've got a couple fittings. I hope will work. I guess we'll find out. So one thing with this using this PEX and these type of shark bites is you can move this stuff and it doesn't affect it. So that's kind of nice. Um, this is the hot side. I use blue, not the red. So I just use some red electric tape. And then this here is the actual pipe. So you can't even tell, can you? So there's the pecs there. I got a small cutter. I might have to that pipe right there and the one down there might have to trim a little bit depending on how things lined up and I picked this up I don't know if I'm going to need it pick this up in case even this the long handle doesn't give me enough room to move I picked this up I can cut through with this maybe so let's go ahead and I want to check those fittings to see put some uh, some of this Teflon tape on there and then, uh, then we'll put those together and, and we'll see what it looks like it's right there is the drain valve I guess whatever you want to call it and it just flows the ground is right down there, somewhere down in there, it was the ground. I got it back on, it's holding. Let's go take a look at the other side. All right, let me tell you, what a pain in the neck. You know, trying to work two inches above the ground. So, those fittings work just fine, those are regular shark bite fittings I got this other towel in here because it did have a leak and all the leak was was this guy here wasn't pushed on all the way so once I did that that stopped the leak and as I feel the joints I don't feel any any leaks at all I had to put an extender there a little coupler didn't need one up there. Probably should have used one, but it's fine. And uh, so far, it's all holding. Um, I will finish this video in a day or two. I want to make sure that there's no leaks. Huh. So, so far, all is good right now. I want to show you guys this. At times, you got to remove this for whatever reason, either trim it. Or maybe repair or whatever. Well, even though it will twist, you can't get it out. So how do you do it? We have this cool little dealy here. You're supposed to just be able to put this on and then pinch it and then wiggle it out. Well, sometimes if that doesn't go all the way back, it's not going to come out. That's what you're trying to do, is you're trying to push that in. If you actually look closely, see how there's kind of, there's two collars basically. However, I also found this guy. It's got a thick side, thick prongs, and then thinner prongs. The thick prongs go on the pipe side. However, See how this guy has collars? Well, it doesn't fit very well, does it? So, you gotta go at an angle. And then even then, when you go to squeeze, you gotta be pretty strong to do this. 
and depending on the angle, you know, if you're trying to get at it, at it like this, you know, somehow I'm not going to get much strength that way. So here's what I did. <laughs> I broke one of these out. <laughs> so basically, I was able to to hold that like say, and then I took this guy. So it's like that. Now I took this guy and I just squeezed until it kind of got really firm and almost stopped. Like right there it stops. And then if for whatever reason, because maybe it's still too th too small to grip, then I grabbed this and then I went like this. Voila. So Even though this guy was a whole lot more expensive than that little orange thing, this guy was like eight bucks and this thing was like 20 cents or whatever, a buck, whatever. Even though it was a lot more expensive, I kind of like this because I have this option, which then means I don't have to struggle at bad angles to get it or if I just don't even want to squeeze on it, then I can always break out something like this. Pretty clever. That's my that's my homestead tip of the week, tip of the year, something like that. So, all right. So let's give it a couple of days to see if it leaks, and then I'll check back with you. Keep your fingers crossed and toes and all that. So it's been longer than a couple of days. In fact, actually, guys, I totally forgot about it. It's been like literally a, over a month. So, is it leaking? In a month, not a single drop. So I guess that's the road test, huh? Not just a couple of days, but a whole month. So, but yeah, the plumbing here. Let me get you guys last quick look. And, uh... It's a perfect fit. There you go. It's a perfect fit. Got a single drop. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye. Have fun. Oh, did you subscribe?